Okay, all right, here we go. Here's what we got going for you today. If you watched the last video, if you watched it all the way through, you know I done trashed out the other cylinder. I uh, did that with a boring bar. I was going in there, I, I got the exhaust too high. I'm gonna bring it back down. Got in there with the boring bar and I scratched the cylinder about a quarter inch from the top. Junk. Oh, if it weren't for bad luck. Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm a hack so I mess a lot of stuff up. Uh, regardless, we got the new cylinder on there. Uh, I'm doing this intro, of course, after I've done it because I don't want to BS you and make you think you're going to have something. So I'm telling you what the video is going to be about because I've done... I ain't edited it, but I got the video. Uh, we run about three tanks of fuel through it. I'll show you some of that. Uh, right now, the exhaust is at 98. Uh, intakes at 66 for 132 total opening. Transfers are 124. So they actually that was new i'm sorry 98 66 and 124 uh i made her 98 i didn't touch the roof of the exhaust 68 and a half so 137 degrees we bumped that up uh two and a half degrees uh five five total opening and we moved the transfers up and pointed those up we got those at 22 degree blow down there 120 degrees uh i'll try to put those in the, in the descriptions too Okay, we started playing with mufflers a little bit. We haven't dynoed them, but I got some extra cans here. You guys um, get in the comments. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to have this video edited by Monday. It's Saturday right now. Uh, if I can have this thing put together by Monday, I'd love to start getting comments for I. Uh... All right, here's the deal, guys. It takes me a while to edit videos. I'm... I'm whatever you want to call it i don't just turn on the camera and let it run i ain't that good i'm a hack so i've got to make a better video to get people to want to watch it honest that's that's just what it is i can't just turn it on and let it run like some people do i don't have i ain't, I ain't that good okay uh so i run it i edit it i try to make a good video that's pleasurable to watch all right so it takes me a while some red oak out there, put about three tanks of gas through it. May throw the chainsaw song in there. What do you think about that? We'll throw the chainsaw song in there on top of that. If you guys ain't heard it, you'll like it. <laughs> you might like it. <laughs> um, we got a dyno pull um, after. I got to get that done, get that in the computer. So we'll have a baseline pull against, um, we'll have a baseline pull for this and we may bounce it against where we was at on the other one. And also, what I started doing, I want some thoughts on this from you guys. The air filters on these guys, if you look at them, are just terribly restricted. That's up against the carburetor. That's the choke mechanism itself. Well, there's no straight shot for air to get into that. See, it's got to it's got to come in here. The back's not necessary. That's the that's up against the engine, so it don't have a real good shot. That's all the air filter you got, and it's got to come in and then. You see what it's got to do? It's got to go down and come down and come into the carburetor there. I did it there. I, once I had it warmed up, I actually did a, a dyno pull without the air filter on it. I'd be curious to see what that does too. Um, I know like Tongue Power Saws, uh, Jason Tongue, whatever. Boy, I hope I got your name right. Um, yeah, he suggested, you know, first thing he always does is... Uh, muffler mod and i totally agree uh this one had a muffler mod on it uh since the get-go just uh the the stock one had holes there it was cut out bigger um i think i'll show that here after a bit get the ideas in because i'm gonna start working on exhausts i've got we'll start with one with the guts in it uh, just a factory aftermarket which is going to choke this all way back down uh, then we're going to put a pipe in there maybe change where the thing comes out I've got two cans I've actually welded a plate in here for a deflector I want to try that I've welded that well we'll call it welding just because I have a TIG welder don't mean I am a TIG welder um, we welded up like a bark box um, and we'll try a bigger hole and I've played with this one a little bit out there uh so we got all that stuff coming up guys throw your suggestions in because i'm running behind on getting the videos now i don't have as much lead time so that means actually i may have time to take your suggestions in and get them commented without further ado here we went
My pappy said, son, you're going to drive me to drugs if you don't quit pulling them chainsaws jugs. Have you heard the story of the work stall race where Iron Horse and Tin Man were setting the pace? That story's true, I know the deal, because I was running a hot rod steel. It's got a clamshell motor and it's really souped up. That crack top cover makes it look like a puff. It's got a 20 inch bar and it uses it all with 30,000 breakers that just won't stall. It's got a ported intake and Iron Horse exhaust with an 810 sprocket you can really get lost. It goes through white oak just like this pine. The crank is good and the piston's fine. Walked out to the woods one cool day, it was easy to see winters headed this way. I was barred in deep, laying on the dogs, loving my sauce, bucking some logs. All of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, a logger with a husky passed me by. I said, look out boys, that's a saw for me. By then, sawdust was all you could see. Now the fellas all know I run my saws a little fat, but I couldn't let a husky get away with that. Pulled out my screwdriver and without a doubt, I turned the high jet and I leaned her out. Now a lot of you guys may not realize this, I got my bar on what some people call upside down. It's hard to tell on this old bar, but that's because I'm cutting up a lot today. You can tell by a guy's saw whether he's a firewood cutter or a timber feller. Because if they got it where you can read it, he's probably cutting trees down see like cutting trees down you got the writing down if you're gonna cut stuff up so you're always cutting up firewood right you're always blocking it up cutting it up bucking it up but you're always taking trees down so you could tell by looking at a guy's chainsaw bar if he's a firewood guy or a timber faller <laughs> There she is, there's one tank of gas going. Guys appreciate it hanging around and, and bearing with me. I sure didn't aim to jack you guys around like I've been doing with these. Uh, I've trashed two cylinders, both of them was, uh, one of them was absolutely my fault. The other one was, yeah, it was my fault too. But um, one of them, I completely tore it up with the boring bar. Uh, I got into the side of it. Uh, <laughs> Eh, you'll have that uh, on them big jobs. I kind of want to get you guys something for Monday just to let you know we're st we're still on. I'm not trying to jack you around. I'm not trying to bait and switch you. We're working on her. Uh, but I gotta I gotta get this in here broke in. And usually I'm getting videos edited about two weeks behind time. Well, between tearing up two cylinders, that's ate up my two weeks of leeway I thought I had for myself to just not have to jack you guys around. I'm sorry. Uh, Seeing as how we're just playing around and breaking in rings anyhow, we just want to play with the... Uh, yeah, I built a little... I'll call it a bark box because that's what people would know it as. And they're pretty easy to change uh, plates on this 026. And for anybody that ain't seen it in a while, there's the... There is the uh, muffler mod we had on the other one. Now guys, don't look at that too close, cause that can there was gonna, that part of that can was gonna be a separate test on itself, but I don't have the other can gutted, so we're gonna put this. Mm, we'll call it a we'll call it a bark box, just like we'll call locking pliers vice grips, even though they really ain't. <laughs>
What is that? Uh, two tanks through it. I didn't really expect that thing to be out of gas that soon. Now we had to open that up quite a bit on that, that exhaust there. So that tells me it's probably not pulling. It's, it'll breathe good. It's getting rid of air. Uh, but we'll play with that in there later on. It's just something. I just wanted to try that sucker out. Nah, it was just fun. I just wanted to put something else on it for... Nah, you guys deserve it. Now the fellas all know I run my saws a little fat, but I couldn't let a husband get away with that. Pulled out my screwdriver and without a doubt, turned the high jet and I leaned her out. Wound it up to 15.6, going through logs just like the sticks. The saw was pulling hard and on the pipe for sure. That's all he is. Ain't no more. Boys all thought I was crazy as hell. The saw does look like a rooster's tail. They said, slow down, your crank's gonna bust. The chain's going noodle. Smoke was coming from under the cover when I started to catch that husky lover. I knew I could outcut him and his husky cull, but why didn't you know by then my chains get dull? I had real fine dust coming out of the side. The bar was turning blue. Man, what a ride. I said, look out, boys, this baby will cut. He loaded up his husky and got back in his truck. Now all of a sudden, my stall started shaking. I didn't chamfer enough the nickel seal was flaking. I looked at the ground, but my oil was leaking. I'd give that car too much tweaking. I stripped us all down and put it on the bench and called my pappy to bring me a wrench. He said, son, you're going to drive me to drugs if you don't quit for you and change saw the jugs. Well, there she is. I think, oh... We're down to there on the fuel, so I'll we'll call that three tanks to it for breaking in the rings. Let's go dyno it. Okay, we've trashed the previous cylinder and rebuilt the other one, so we're going to see how close we are. Got dyno results of this new one. Seems to be running pretty good. I'll put the timing numbers in the description down there below. This is the old cylinder before I ruined it. You can tell we it's 3.72 horsepower. 9544 on the RPMs. Uh, we ported up the third cylinder close as I can get it. Uh, we was at 3.73 at 9527, so we was pretty close in there. We gained a little bit of foot pounds down low. <clears throat> but if you compare the two, uh, the old versus new, the, the red line's the new cylinder, blue line's the old cylinder and we're zoomed in pretty tight i mean that's only a quarter horsepower between lines and and up here in the usable what i'd call the usable range man we're close together we're uh we're pretty close and like I say the peak is only one hundredth off like 20 rpms difference but it's pretty close uh, so i think we can just move on from there what we was doing and start getting ready to do uh, exhaust things like that I've got I've got some stuff coming here so we can take better heat measurements uh, I'm really looking forward to that I believe we'll be able to quantify our heat measurements and uh, I believe I've got them got it in my mind I think I can write a spreadsheet for it and I think we may even be able to chart that and graph that the same way uh, in just like this dyno and just like the heat or anything else you guys can take the information that I got I'm not gonna try to tell you what it means I'm just gonna show you what I got you guys can determine for yourself what you think um, so we got that coming up um, here's something I want you guys to think about this air filter that air filter uh, I took off the air filter in this test dyno it I dyno it without the air filter right quick and that jumped up from 3.72 horsepower to 3.96. Uh, Dag them near a quarter horsepower plus raise the RPM range 600 RPMs. So that air filter is really holding us back. Uh, 
You can see the old the air filter versus no air filter versus air filter. That's no difference as both both these were taken right at the same time while it was warmed up. I just sucked the air filter off of it because you basically have to have that in there to start it because choke and that choke's built into that air filter. If anybody has any good ideas how to circumvent this problem, let me know. And I don't want an air filter sticking out in the open. It still needs to basically be the protection of a saw, something you can throw on the four-wheeler and uh, go cutting firewood with. This can't be, can't be, uh, it's, it's still got to be a complete work saw when I'm done with it. So, uh, I don't, I don't really have much here on the dyno results to show you. And that's stock versus now. I'm just zoomed in basically at the three horsepower line up to 3.75 horsepower. That was basically the usable, usable horsepower from the stock, uh, up to what we are right now. Uh, okay, there's the chart you'd normally been ready to look at. Uh, red line was stock. You can see we've gained, we've lost a little bit on stock. It was pretty flat. It come up a little bit sooner. Uh, but up here in the usable range, we, we've we've gained quite a bit on it. So. We'll either massage the numbers at some point, but we're going to start in on the timing right now, next, and mufflers, and start measuring heat, see what we can do. Uh, so guys, throw in the comments what you'd like to see, what we can do. Uh, like I say, I'm a little bit behind now on getting the videos out, so they're coming out a little closer to when I'm doing it, if I can get them edited. Throw it down there in the comments what you'd like to see. I'll probably be working on exhaust for the next video, but we we can consider done timing. We can consider, if need to, machining it, taking uh, taking a little bit out of the combustion chamber at some point. I'd like to do that a little bit later on, though, because not everybody has the capability of doing that. Everything I've done up to this point, most people have the capability. So that's where I'm trying to hold it for right now. Let me know what you guys think and uh, leave her in the comments. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys hanging out. We'll see you here with the next one.